हेलो एवरी वन एज वी फिनिश थेरी पार्ट रिलेटेड विथ वॉम एंड बॉम्बविल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस न्यूमेरिकल बेस्ड ऑन इट सो हेयर वी हैव द स्टेटमेंट ए टू स्टार्ट वॉम रोटेटिंग एट सिक्स हंड्रेड आर पी एम सो लेट मी राइट गिवन डेटा सो वट इज गिवन इज द आर पी एम फॉर ओ वॉम सो एन टू इज इक्वल टू एट हंड्रेड Here we are going to use the symbol two for worm and one for worm gear. Drives a twenty-six teeth of worm. So number of teeth of worm gear is given. That is twenty-six. So that is T one. Okay. Similarly, uh, see this statement one that a two-start worm. It means that T two number of teeth of the worm and number of start that is denoted by n is equal to 2 uh, let me write the, the next data the worm has pitch diameter 54 mm so worm diameter is given so it is d2 54 mm and pitch of 18 mm so pitch is given that is axial pitch pa is equal to 18 mm if the coefficient of friction mu is 0.06 that is tan inverse of mu is equal to phi here phi is the angle of friction is equal to 3.43 degree and they ask find helix angle speed of gear then center distance then lead angle for maximum efficiency and efficiency and maximum efficiency so let's start from helix angle we know the formula for lead angle tan of delta is equal to l divided by pi d2 so it is 2 pa divided by pi d2 because l is nothing but n p a n is 2 so it is 2 p a divided by pi d2 so 2 p a is given that is 18 pi d2 is also known that is 54 so we get tan of delta is equal to and delta is equal to 11.98 degree now we know that delta is equal to alpha 1 that is helix angle for gear so it is 11.98 degree and we know the shaft angle in case of worm it is alpha 1 plus alpha 2 so we can able to calculate alpha 2 it is theta minus of alpha 1 theta is 90 minus of 11.98 so alpha 2 is equal to 78. Two zero degree. Here we finish first question that is helix angle of worm. Now let's just calculate second speed of gear. So for uh, to calculate speed of gear, let's just take gear ratio. Gear ratio is equal to here T one by T two is equal to n two upon n one. So T one is given that is twenty six divided by T two is equal to two. then speed of worm is given that is 800 divided by n1 so we get n1 is equal to 61.53 rpm it is as simple as that by using of gear ratio only we can get speed of gear now third is center distance so to calculate center distance let's just write down the formula center distance l is equal to mt2 by 2 inside the bracket t1 tan of delta plus t2 now instead of this mt2 let's just put the formula in terms of diameter and number of teeth so it is d2 by t2 into 2 remains as it is inside the packet t1 tan of delta plus t2 we have all the values for this unknown so let's put the value and get the answer for center distance so it is diameter 
54 divided by 2 into 2 inside the bracket number of teeth of the gear is 26 tan of 11.98 degree plus 2 tons of worm is 2 so we get L is equal to 101.47 mm so here we finish the center distance now next is the lead angle of maximum efficiency so we know that for lead angle alpha 1 that is delta is equal to theta minus of phi divided by 2 and alpha 2 is equal to theta plus phi divided by 2 now let's just put the values theta is 90 minus of phi is 3.43 degree so delta is equal to 90 minus 3.3 4, 3 divided by 2 so we get delta is equal to 43.28 degree the lead angle for maximum efficiency now number 5 efficiency and maximum efficiency so efficiency when worm is driver we know the formula nu is equal to tan of delta divided by tan of delta plus phi so we know the value of delta and phi tan of 11.98 divided by tan of 9 phi is 11.98 plus phi is 3.43 so we get efficiency nu is equal to 76. 98% and maximum efficiency is equal to 1 minus of sin phi divided by 1 plus of sin phi so it is 1 minus of sin of 3.43 degree divided by 1 plus sin of 3.43 degree which is equal to 88.70% so this is all about how to solve the numerical based on worm and worm wheel. Only the important part of this numerical is you need to know the different formula based on worm and worm wheel. If you know the formulas, you can able to solve any kind of numerical on worm and worm wheel. I hope you get how to solve the numerical based on it. Thank you for watching this video.